not clear on what is the recipe for making delicious, low calorie fruit and goat cheese pizza. And for this recipe, we're going to use spiral pastry, fresh spinach, Italian salad dressing, basil, goat cheese, Parmesan cheese, and optional items are sauteed peppers, mushrooms, and meat. So today, while we're making our pizza, there's a few things to keep in mind. We want it to be low calorie. So what I'm going to start with is we're going to first with spiral pastry. One sheet of spiral pastry is always in calories. So when you spread that out, even if you add a few more layers of pastry, you still got a very low calorie pizza. Make sure that you don't take your spiral pastry out until right before you're going to use it. And once you take it out, cover it with a damp towel. Make sure the towel isn't wet or you're going to have a soggy crust. Before I put my spiral pastry into the pan, I'm going to take a pastry brush and brush on some Italian salad dressing. This is a substitute for plain old olive oil because you can buy low calorie Italian dressing and because of the oil, our pastry is not going to stick, but it adds a lot of great flavor. So I put down a layer of oil, salad dressing, and now I'm going to put down a layer of pastry. You might find that it's rich as you pick it up because it is very fragile. But don't worry about it because that won't make a difference in your recipe. You put down one layer of pastry. Brush the crust one more time. You can try the salad dressing. And then another layer of pastry. You can add up to four layers. Just don't put too much dressing because you don't want the crust to fall. Cover. Your pastry every time you want to eat it. And another breath of time of the dressing. This is going to have great flavor. Once the pastry is fully coated, you're ready to add your toppings. And what I've done is I've sauteed green peppers, red peppers, red peppers, orange peppers, and mushrooms. But you don't need, if you don't like these, you don't need to add them. And you can add onions as well. And then you can do a cut. And then call it a fresh paste. You don't need to use cream, frozen spinach because it will cook down as you will bake the pizza. Top the sauce with goat cheese. Now, goat cheese is usually pretty spreadable, but I've made it crumbly just because I wanted to add the texture. And flavor to each part of the pizza. And if you want, you can add other kinds of cheese as well. You can spray them on some Parmesan cheese, or you can leave it as is. You can just spray them on some Italian dressing onto the top of any bare area to give it some extra flavor. Another option is to add turkey, salami, or ham to your pizza. If you can keep it vegetarian, and of course, that'll cut down on the calories. Bake your pizza at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. Let it sit for about 5 minutes and then slice it up and enjoy. I'm Nina from Nina.ca. Mm-hmm.